My well, uh, friends, is uh, uh, the Word of God. For those of you who uh, don't know that, and uh, a copy of uh, New Testament is uh, offered to you freely here this afternoon, yours to take and do with as you will. But it is um, God's uh, Word. It is... Um, the place, it is the only place where you'll uh, find the voice of God, uh, where he speaks to men and women today, revelation of himself through his son Jesus Christ, and of course, um, revelation of your own self, what you are truly like. You know, uh, many of us live under the sad delusion that we are good people and um, should be acceptable to God, but of course um, the Bible reveals something more than that about ourselves, that we're not really good people, that we're all sinners and we're in need of um, God's salvation. So that's what uh, the Bible's about, beginning to end, start to finish, it's about um, the salvation that God has provided through His Son, Jesus Christ. You would like to have a copy of God's Word, New Testament in its entirety, offered to you freely and without any charge, any cost, any obligation to you. Yours to take uh, and do with as you will. You'd like to have one then, please feel free to come and ask for one. Of course, uh, in the Bible it's uh, there that uh, you'll uh, read the words of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Uh, who bids us to come to him uh, for salvation. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the second person of the Holy Trinity, uh, God manifest in the flesh. The, um, the opposite, the truth, you know, the opposite to what um, uh, these people across here uh, called the Watchtower Society are presenting you with. That's a false system of worship. That will not lead you to God's salvation. That will not lead you to God and to a right knowledge of and the right relationship with God. No, friends, the Bible reveals to us that God is triune. He's the uh, a triune God revealed uh, in His Son, Jesus Christ, the second person, as I see, of the blessed and holy trinity it is through jesus christ alone that salvation is to be found many people of course in these days and of course the season that we find ourselves now in the question that i am asked more often than any other i walk into a shop i meet friends and the question they ask me is they say am i ready and of course, what they mean is, am I ready for the festive season? What they mean is, am I ready? Have I done all the buying that I need to do? Have I got all the presents that I need? All the cards that I need? Am I ready, they say? Am I ready for the festive season? Well, I want to ask you a question myself this afternoon. Are you ready, but not for the festive season? I mean, are you ready for the coming of the Son of Man? Jesus Christ tells us in his word in the Bible, the day is coming when he will come again, but not as he came before, not as a child, not as an infant born in a stable, but coming again to judge the world in righteousness. The Bible says he will appear, come with his holy angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance upon all those who do not know God and who obey not the gospel. So friends, there is a need, as Jesus tells us, to be ready because what? we do not know the hour, we do not Get know the time of his coming. Yes, I do, sir. You obviously don't. But you could know him, sir. You could know if you repent and believe the gospel. Yeah. You make him Repent and believe the gospel, sir. Repent and believe the gospel, sir. 
Repent of your drunkenness. Repent and believe the gospel. Jesus Christ is coming again. Are you ready? That's the question that Jesus Christ poses to you here this afternoon. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. He's coming, says like a thief in the night. Coming, friends, you know, to judge the world in righteousness. Not coming as an infant in a stable, but as I declare to you, with his holy angels in flaming fire taking vengeance. Notice, will you, upon all those who do not know God. That's, that's the criteria, friends. Not are you religious, plenty of religious people about, worlds full of religion and religious people, but that's not the same as knowing God. This is eternal life, says Jesus. Knowing God and knowing him whom he sent, that is his son, Jesus Christ. This is eternal life. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Knowing God. Do you know God? Do you know him relationally? Do you know him intimately? Do you know him in a right relationship? That's, that's the question, friends. Do you know him? He's coming in flaming fire to take vengeance upon all those who do not know God and who obey not the gospel. Have you obeyed the gospel? Have you repented of your sin? Have you believed in the Lord Jesus Christ? First recorded words of Jesus in the New Testament are these. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Why? Because the kingdom of God is at hand. And friends, you cannot enter the kingdom of God but by the way of repentance. Change of mind, a change of heart, that is. Change of direction. Walking with and towards God through His Son, Jesus Christ, the only Savior. Repent ye and believe the gospel. That's the criteria. That's the requirements, the first requirements in getting to know God into a right relationship with Him through Jesus Christ, His Son. So be ye therefore ready. I ask you the question that many of you ask me. Are you ready? Are you ready for the festive season? No. I ask you, are you ready for the coming of the Son of Man? Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour that ye know not. Coming, he says, like a thief in the night. And of course, if you knew what time, if you knew the hour the thief was coming, you would be ready. You would have the police on hand. You would have dogs in your house. You'd have all kinds of protection. You would be ready for the thief coming. But of course, the thief never announces his coming. He doesn't send you a letter. He doesn't send you an email telling you when he's coming. He comes when you least expect him. And so, friends, the coming of the Son of Man will be. He'll come like the thief in the night when you least expect him. So be ye also ready, says the Lord Jesus Christ. Great weight hangs upon this upon your being ready friends great weight heaven and hell friends your eternal soul the um, salvation of your soul hangs upon your your being ready because if he comes when you are not ready that is right with god when you have not repented have not believed in the lord jesus christ you will not be and you cannot be saved Without my Savior, without the Lord Jesus Christ, salvation is an impossibility. Only one person who can make you right with God, make you ready for His coming, and that is the Son of Man, the Son of God Himself. He alone has the authority, has the power to say to anyone that your sins are forgiven. There is no Pope, there is no priest, there is no religious person in all this world who has the authority to say to anyone that their sins are forgiven. Only Jesus, only the Son of God, only He who came into the world to die for sinners, to atone for sinners, to rise again from the dead, to justify and make a body, a person right with God. 
So you see, friends, unless you've heard the words of absolution from the lips of Jesus, you're still in your sin. You're still unforgiven. You're still not ready for his coming. Great weight hangs upon it, friends. Your soul, your eternal soul, friends, lost and lost forever in that day when he comes. Because if he comes and you're not ready, well, there's, there's no getting ready then. There's no getting right with God then. It's too late. People will be asking, where's the Bible? Where's the Bible that, uh, that I might believe it? Where's Jesus Christ that I might be saved? Where's the street preacher to tell me how to get right with God too late then, friends? Bible says, you know, on that day, the people will be crying down the mountains and rocks upon themselves to hide themselves from the presence of the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the one that is who today would take away your sins should you but repent and believe the gospel. Are you ready? Be ye ready, says the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of Man's coming, and he's coming at an hour when you'll not expect him. And every single one of you, naturally speaking, you're not ready, you're unready, you were born in sin, you were conceived in sin, from your mother's womb, Jesus says, Bible reveals to us, natural born sinners, every single one of you, every man, woman and child, born into this world, born in sin, natural sinners, naturally doing that what comes natural to you and that's sin friends sinful nature ungodly nature that's why jesus says you must be born again because unless you're born again your nature can be changed takes a miracle from god supernatural act of god to change a body's nature except the man be born again says jesus he cannot see he cannot understand he cannot he cannot perceive the kingdom of god never mind enter into it so friends you have to be born again your nature has to be changed only god himself can do that you can't do it religion won't do it for you watchtower society won't do it for you pope won't do it for you muhammad won't do it for you buddha won't do it for you only jesus christ only my gospel, only through faith in the Son of God, only in the way of repentance and faith towards Jesus Christ. Can you be born again? Can you enter God's kingdom? Can you be ready for the coming of the Son of Man? Be ye therefore ready, says Jesus, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not, when you're not ready for him, when you expect him not. Every single one of us, friends, born into this world, naturally speaking, we're not ready. That's why you have to get ready. That's why you have to get the soul change. That's why you have to get the heart change. It's heart surgery that you need, not religion. Heart surgery, friends, a change of heart. Made a new creature in Jesus Christ by the power of the Son of God, by the power of my gospel. Gospel is yet the power of God unto salvation for everybody. Everybody who's religious, no. Everybody who believes, that is, in the Son of God. What does what mean? It means Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. What's this about? What do you think it's about? Have a guess. Go on. You're an, intel you're an intelligent young man. What's about? So, can you prove to me that heaven is real? No. Sir, a young man, repent and believe the gospel. Yeah? God is not mocked, sir. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. I perceive in your town of Walsall here today, there are many religious people, false worshippers. There are many mockers, many fools. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Why do men and women come to such a conclusion? Because they're corrupt, because they're natural born sinners, 
because they're corrupt in their hearts, because they're wicked, vile, deceitful, desperately wicked. That's why. And that's why your nature has to be changed. That's why the new birth is, is uh, well, it's not only possible, but it's an absolute necessity because you're not ready. You're not ready for the coming of the Son of Man and you need to be. Jesus says, be ye therefore ready. I ask you, friends, are you ready for the coming of the Son of Man? He's coming to judge the world and judge it in righteousness. Unless you've been born again, you're not ready. Unless you've been washed in the blood of the Lamb and born in the, by the Spirit of God. Friends, you're not ready, but you need to be. Repent and believe the gospel. Jesus Christ, His demand, His command. But now's the time, friends. Now's the time and now's the place to get ready while well, you still got the breath of life in you. Because once you breathe your last, once you've died, it's too late then. This is the place, friends, while you're in the world, friends, once you've departed from this world, some people will tell you that there's a second chance. Some people will tell you there's a place called purgatory, you know, where you can, well, you can be saved from that. You can still go to heaven. The Bible speaks nothing of purgatory. There's no such place, friends. There's only two places that you go after you're finished in this world, on this earth. That's either heaven with God or hell with the devil and his angels. Now, friends, now's the time, now's the place, now's the time of God's salvation. Now's the accepted time, says God, while you walk and breathe in, while you got the faculties of mind still working, and you're able to think about these things. You're able to address these issues and get right with God. Friends, there's a lot hangs on this. Heaven and hell, your soul, your eternal soul, friends. Now is the time, says God. Now is the accepted time while you still got the breath of life in you. While you still walk in God's earth and breathe in his air and eating his food, friends. This is the day, this is the day when you could get right with God and be ready for the coming of the Son of Man. Be ye also ready, says the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you, friends, are you ready? Not for the festive season, but are you ready for the coming of the Son of Man? He's coming again, and he's coming to judge the world in righteousness. Friends, you need to be ready. And you need to be ready all the time. Friends, repentance is not just the once and for all thing. Bible demands, Bible commands repentance. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Repentance is a necessity. Re Repent ye and believe the gospel, says the Lord Jesus Christ. But our friends, that repentance isn't just the once and for all thing. It's walking in the way of repentance, day after day, repenting of all your sin, your sinful thoughts, your sinful words, your sinful actions. It's walking always in the way of repentance, keeping a short account with God. It's walking in the way of faith, always believing. If you don't learn to believe in this world, and if you don't walk in the way of faith, believing in Jesus, friends, well, when he comes, you will not be ready. Some people, they claim, well, I believed in Jesus a long time ago. I repented, I believed, but now, now you're walking in sin. Now you're walking in the ways of the world. Now you're drinking of the flesh. Now you're doing the things that you ought not to have done. Things that maybe you wouldn't have done long, long time ago. Maybe when you first professed faith in Jesus Christ. Maybe now backslidden, cold in heart, and you're not ready for the coming of the Son of Man. Be ye ready. Be ye ready, says the Lord Jesus Christ, because he's coming coming again to judge the world, coming again to judge in righteousness. 
He's coming, he's coming soon. And he's coming, friends, in an hour, in a time when you think not. You think he's, co he's not coming. Well, they've been talking about this for a long time now, you see. Men and women have been talking about the coming of, of the Lord Jesus these last 2,000 years. Where's the, where's the time of his coming? Bible says that, you know, the people give up hope. You know, they think, nah, he's not coming. It's been 2,000 years or more. And they just give themselves up to unbelief, to sin and more sin. Ah, oh, friends, believe me, he's coming. It might seem like a long time to you. It might seem like slow and coming to you. But he's coming, friends. Surely, as surely can be, it's written in God's word. The truth is declared. Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, the Son of God, he's coming again. And he's coming to judge religious idolaters, false worshippers, the Watchtower Society, Roman Catholicism, Islam, Buddhism, Confucianism, all manner of false worshippers, all manner of idolaters, friends, drunkards and drug addicts, gossips and haters of men and women, envious. Friends, the catalogue of sin goes on and on and on. But men and women who have never been reborn, who are still in their natural state and condition, who are still in their sin, repent, repent of your sin, friends. Repent and believe the gospel. Get ready for his coming. Be ye ready also, says the Lord Jesus Christ, because he's coming in an hour when you think not. The certainty, the absolute certainty of your removal you're going to be removed from this world sooner, sooner maybe than some of you think, you know. Bible says it's appointed unto man wants to die. There's no avoiding it. That's the 100% statistic, friends. We're all of us going to die. Each and every one of us, we're going out of this world. That's an absolute certainty. That's about the only thing you can be certain of. But you can be ready for that time. This world, the Bible tells us, it's like a kindergarten. You know, you're placed here for a short time. Maybe 70 years. Maybe 80. Maybe some of you 90. Maybe some of you only 40. Maybe some of you never get out of your teens. Maybe some in infancy. But friends, death is an absolute certainty. But here's the thing, friends. You need not fear it. You need not, you need not face it being unready. You can be ready for the coming of the Son of Man. But dear friends, that's why Jesus Christ came. That's why he came. That's why he was born into this world. That's why he lived and loved and died and rose again from the dead. That you might be saved, that you might be delivered from sin and from the wrath to come. Be ye, be ye also ready, says the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming, friends. What if he comes for you tonight? Friends, here you are getting ready for the festive season again. And you're going to be drinking and making merry. You're going to be partying. You're going to be eating and drinking and doing all these kinds of things. What if you never get to see Christmas? 